Bye. Um, okay, so I wanted to film this today mainly because I am, uh, today my school has its like open house ceremony, welcome, welcome celebration or whatever for the students and their families. And, um, then school starts on today, Saturday, and then school starts on Monday. So there's a lot to do, but I kind of just, I'm not even really stressing to be honest. I kind of just wanted to have this day to kind of just rest and relax, maybe get a few household chores done and such. So today I decided my husband had to work today, which he doesn't usually work on Saturdays, but today he had to. And so I have a couple hours here where my son is just enjoying his Saturday morning, uh, playing some video games, and I am in the office, and my husband's at work. So um, I wanted to show, or rather share, something that I did that's new. So I know I've filmed a couple videos with this planner. This was the um, Perugia Press uh, Mustard Seed Orthodox Homeschool Planner that I was using as a life and work planner and I have some videos on how I did that and I love this planner and I loved this setup however I have changed what I'm doing kind of last minute what I ended up doing um and excuse me let me take a quick drink of my coffee really fast what I ended up doing um <clears throat> was I, I won't even bother to show, like, it, it just became a mess. My work planners became an absolute mess. I couldn't stand it. I had to erase it so many times. And very quickly, I realized, like, I just, it was just too much for me. And, but I really wanted the Orthodox planner. Like, that was something I really wanted, especially returning to work for the first time. Also, please ignore all the tape around here. I really wanted to keep things in frame. And I, so I'm using washi tape to keep in frame. I'm using painter's tape to hold this down so it doesn't move. Anyway, it's, it's very, uh, uh, it's exciting. <laughs> so ignore that. But anyway, so I really still wanted the Perugia Press Planner. And they did something, uh, Perugia Press did, that I was so excited when I saw it because I knew it was going to be a better option for me and just how I plan and how I am and all of that. So what I did <clears throat> is I've had this Agenda 52. Okay, I'm going to try to keep it in my see, And even already, this, this is actually a little lower. So I think, okay, is that my... Sorry, I'm just checking this. Okay, so it needs to be about right there. All right, so this is my uh, Agenda 52 planner. Agenda 52 is the line of planners from Hobby Lobby. Um, I, and I know I've kind of talked about this a little bit before. So um, I've had this for a couple, for a few months now, this blue one, this navy one, and then I put the little B on there. Um, to I like bees they're my favorite insect but then also my name starts with a B and my last name starts with a B so it's a very easy and unique way to monogram things um, without monogramming monogramming them <laughs> I don't know um, monogram monogramming I don't know um, also it reminds me of St. Paisios's uh, story about being the bee and not the fly uh, which is basically you look for the good in things and, and not the not the negative things. So anyway, I really loved this uh, little stick on gym thing. And so I stuck it on there um, for all three of those reasons. Um, but anyway, I had gotten this at one point and it was going to be my planner at the time. Uh, like I said, a few months ago and it didn't end up working out for me. So I've just kind of had it sitting and not being used for a while. And then I decided to make this kind of like my spiritual, my faith binder. And I loved it. However, uh, when I saw Perugia Press came out with a PDF version of the Mustard Seed Planner. So this exact same planner, um, but a PDF version. I talked to my husband and I was like, I know I already bought the, the paper planner, but it's not working. I need something different. And anyway, he was so sweet and let me buy the PDF planner as well. So now I have the PDF planner in here and I own, and I've combined it with my, uh, faith 
plan, my faith, not my faith planner, but like my, my spiritual growth binder as well. So I really, this was originally, it was my prayer and all of my scripture study and stuff like that. So now I ended up going and I bought a personal size Agenda 52 planner um, for my prayer. And I took my prayer stuff out and I resized it for that. And I'll do a flip through of that at another point, um, maybe even later today, who knows. But then I, so I was able to kind of just clear up some space in here and make it more of my, really just my whole planner, like my planner, my faith, uh, grow, you know, spiritual growth, um, you know, just becoming a, just my, my Christian life, um, which is my life, obviously. So it's not separated. And I think that's kind of why I liked having everything here. Like, Th that's just that's just how I am like I'm very I like everything to have their own section but I'm also um because I like that compartmentalization but I like everything to be together because I am a holistic person and I I think that life is holistic and so I that's why I've always liked things like traveler's notebooks and things like that because you're able to kind of have all of these different sections, but everything together. So anyway, that is kind of a long intro to me just wanting to do a flip through of what I have put together in here. Um, and you will notice I only have my first two months of, uh, well, the first two months of the mustard seed planner. So August and September, um, because I, uh, didn't, um, it would have been too. If I had just had the planner in here, it would have all fit, but I, I wanted to have everything in here. So I just printed out the first two months and I will just, uh, might even go down to just one month at a time. We'll see. Um, but I wanted the first two months in here. So anyway, we are opening it up and I'm so excited to share it with you. So a little bit of story about some of this. Um, this is just, I think I've mentioned this Mario thing before. I, it just reminds me of my son. Um, there's just some little like icon cards. This this really isn't. Uh, this is a the Antiochian Church Women's Ministry um, Acts of Mercy. So just a lot of ideas on how to serve. Uh, this is actually um, a Roman Catholic card, um, but they had a bunch of these just sitting in our church bookstore for free, and I thought it was pretty, so I have it in here. Um, I have some of these little, uh, these things that, um, since this is hole punched, if, uh, they pages rip or whatever, you can use these for, um, repairing those ripped holes, uh, in the paper. Um, so yeah, just, uh, some little cards over here, 10 point program for orthodox, for, uh, an orthodox life that kind of thing. Over here, um, now this is where really quick, I'll, I'll do a little explaining about a couple things here and here because they're really special to me. So, um, when I first, several years ago, I want to say it was in 2016, um, so about five years ago, when I first really got into, um, I think I've mentioned before, I, I've always liked stationery and planners and paper products and, and paper crafting and all that kind of stuff. But when I really got into the more creative planning and, uh, I never referred to it as this, but like a, like a war binder. If you've ever heard of that, it's, it's not an Orthodox thing, but I, I can explain it a little bit because I wanted a faith binder, which was kind of what this was originally going to be. Well, when I first did that, um, I got some of these little, I was just trying to find some little fun paper crafting things. And I got this little pack of Mason jar tags. Um, Mason jars were really big at the time. And, uh, so there were these little cute tags. Um, I, just like them. I thought they were cute. So, um, I saved one cause I always kept just a blank one. I use them for things, but I always kept a blank one. And so when I moved into here, I wanted to move a blank one into here too. Cause it reminds me of when I first started getting into all this. And then, um, this is just a little card looking for, looking for a Christ centered church, www.gettoknowtheoriginal.com net <laughs> dot net um so it's just a little card with an icon of, of christ and um 
a website for everything about orthodoxy. Also, if you hear noise in the background, that's my son playing video games and probably getting frustrated. Uh, this is just a, oops, above my thing. This is just a little bow paper clip that I got from Michael's, I think. I just always have liked it. And then this little girl from the Paper Studio Agenda 52 line. I like all of these girls, but she's always kind of been my favorite. So she's at the top, and so I just kind of leave her right there. Anyway, um, this is a picture of an ultrasound I had with my second child that I ended up miscarrying just a few days after this, ult this ultrasound. Um, I was so thankful that I was able to get, you know, the heartbeat and and hear hear the baby's heartbeat and uh, you know, get that ultrasound and everything like that. It was really special to me. Um and, but, you know, unfortunately, you know, uh for whatever reason, the the Lord knows, uh we miscarried that child. We named him or her. I think we, we both always kind of felt like it might be a boy. Who knows, but we named uh we gave him or her a name regardless. Um, we chose the name Evan Psalm and uh, that was the name. So that was back in 2015. So we, little Evan and him or her, we, I think again, in all of our, we kind of, my husband and I just both felt like it was a boy. So could have been wrong, but that was just what we felt. So um, well, there's an actress named Evan. So uh, so it works if it was a girl too. But um, anyway, this is from that Bible, uh, the Bible story. Uh, and if not, he is still good. Um, I believe it's from the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, the three holy youths um, in the fire. And uh, I just love that verse. And it just applies to so many things in life. And if not, he is still good. Even if he doesn't answer uh, prayers the way that we would want them to be answered, maybe um, God is still good. So that's a Good reminder. And then funny story too. Not funny story, but kind of special. This paper clip, this is just a regular blue paper. It's like a metallic blue paper clip. And honestly, I just, I love this paper clip. <laughs> I know it's really silly, but it's just a special paper clip to me. I've, I don't even remember where I got it. I've just always really liked it. And I've never wanted to use it for anything because it, I was just kind of hoarding it. Like it was just my favorite paper clip and I never used, I never wanted to use it for anything because it, it was just special. I wanted to wait for the, like the right thing to use it on. <laughs> I've had it for years. And when I wanted to find something, kind of clip this in here so it would stay at this, you know, with this up here at the top, I was like, I'll use the blue paper clip. And so um, I finally found a home for it and it's very special to me because it is clipping in uh, our little guy or girl. Um, so anyway, that was that. And then these are just, this was my husband and son on Father's Day 2016. Um, and then this was my son, uh, <laughs> look at, but, hey Declan, stop yelling, Baba. <laughs> He's getting frustrated with Mario. Um, this is just a picture of my son from this last baseball season this summer. <laughs> Such a, he's silly. Oh my goodness. He's learning how to smile for pictures. And then this is my husband and I uh, on our fifth anniversary, which is funny because that was five years ago. We're going to be celebrating our 10th anniversary this October, but this was our fifth anniversary. So five years ago. Um, I was so much skinnier. <laughs> he always, I always say that and he always tells me, oh honey, you're fine. But I was, I was skinnier. <laughs> Although I still have, I still wear this uh, cardigan I'm wearing there. Anyway, um, so then back to what I was saying earlier. Now we're moving, f sorry, that was a really long, but you know what? This video is just my video and I know I like videos like this. So if you like videos like this too, you're fine. Um, so I was saying that this card came from when I first kind of started getting into um, spiritual binders and faith binders and stuff like that. So this was actually the cover of, it's in a little um, page protector. This was the cover I had on my first uh, faith binder from when I was getting into uh, orthodoxy. I was not orthodox yet, but I w really wanted to become orthodox and I just found myself really drawn towards orthodoxy and we were kind of beginning that journey. And so I put this in the front, slip cover of the binder I had 
and I just couldn't, I was trying to downsize things and I just could never bring myself to get rid of it. And I'm like, why don't I just save it? It was, and there's the little B again. This was the side of the binder. This was the front. So it was kind of like florals and polka dots. And I had Christ, the icon of Christ on the front on the front as well and then this little bee in, uh, up here and I'm like why don't I j and then this was something had ripped on the the sleeve of the binder so I used this purple polka dot washi tape to tape it so it was just this kind of mod podge of things and this this is just washi tape I used to hole punch uh, these to fit in here but um I just decided why don't I save it because then it's still special to me and I still have it but I can let go of the actual binder that it used to be in so also I think is this getting over a little bit I think it might be I don't know um we'll try to keep it in the in frame <laughs> so anyway so that so this way it's just really special to me and I love it also this was sitting here but it just it's getting full and so I took this out I'll probably put it back in eventually it's just some sticky notes on a laminated piece of scrapbook paper I've had um, I like being able to keep sticky notes in here, but I might just keep some sticky notes in this little pouch that I have. So, um, as to not take up extra room. But anyway, so that is special to me because now I can keep that binder cover here. And then over here, um, these are other things that were kind of from the beginning. Like my first traveler's notebook, I made my own dashboard and I had this lovers of God's law are liberated image that I'd gotten from Pinterest taped in it. Um, I had had this C.S. Lewis quote sticker, uh, in the back of that bind, that first binder that this was the cover of. Um, there are far better things ahead than any we leave behind. And I had put that in my binder kind of to signify my journey out of Protestantism and into Orthodoxy. And it kind of worked for moving from my old binder into this one too. So it was special. This was my very first Orthodox prayer book that I got when I was not Orthodox. I'd had it for several years, you know, a couple years prior, about two years prior to even uh, starting to attend an Orthodox church. So I'd had this for a long time. Um, it was, you can see the crosses faded on it and it was kind of falling apart. And then at one point I also took it apart to try and <laughs> punch it into a happy planner and it didn't work it was a disaster and I was so sad because I ruined it um and it was special to me and I wish I wouldn't have done that but I managed to say I saved the cover and so I can always remember my first one so that's nice um uh this washi tape is kind of an inverted coloration of my bible case uh, which I don't have near me or the riser would grab it so I like that um uh, there's that girl again, just some of the first stickers and washi tape I ever got, a uh, little card I had in my traveler's notebook for a really long time. Um, and then this doily right here, I don't know if you can tell, it, there's a, doily, a piece of a doily ripped out right there. And for one of my favorite, this spring actually, I had a, a mixed media book that I used as kind of my planner and my spiritual growth and it was the best thing it worked for me so well um but it was very time consuming to create the pages and stuff and even though i loved it i knew it wasn't going to work for me in this season of life with going to work and stuff but i had purchased these doilies specifically to use kind of as these fun like colored tippins because i would paint watercolor paint them and then i would i could write on them with a permanent marker and um so I saved a little piece of that because that was special too. So this, that was a really long introduction to just this and hopefully I'll go through this a little bit quicker, but that, um, that's kind of my dashboard, I guess, for lack of a better term. Okay. So this is just a note page with some ideas I'd had. And then I've just got some notebook paper here, uh, from Agenda 52, the Hobby Lobby brand, um, uh, through the paper studio and I've got dot grid and lined. Um, and then this is, okay, so this is the mustard seed cover. I scaled it down to print it out as an A5 size. Um, not a true A5 size, it's a little bit, so the, the Agenda 52 paper size is, it's basically A5, but the, the measurements are barely different, barely different. Um, but I did the, the, uh, Anyway, so I resized it. That's all I'm trying to say. Uh, I resized it. I had this clipped on the front of my large one, of my, my spiral bound one, and I moved it to here. Um, and then I want to print out this back cover uh, again, this back cover again to laminate it it's because eventually what I'm going to do, because I like to archive and I don't have any right uh, where I can grab quickly, but I've got those like 
clip rings and so I'm just gonna start I'm gonna archive my planner as I go because I do put a lot of effort into it and it's special to me and this is the first year of a new season so I wanted to save the planner um, so I will archive it as I go so this is though the front and the back cover that I laminated um, together and I did my resizing uh, uh, oh, what are they called? My resizing measurements there for resizing things. Um, and then this was a little routine thing that if you've seen my previous videos, I have this clipped into my planner as well. Okay, so uh, moving through, this was my, um, this is just the planner for Agenda Fit, or excuse me, for Perugia Press. So I won't flip through all of this. I will say though, I, in my original big one, I had this kind of as like a financial planning page. And I just decided since I'm not keeping the whole planner in here at once, I'm going to use this more to like take notes of like things that are coming up. So when I print off the next month, I can add those things in. So like appointments and stuff like that. Um, and then uh, I've got, I only printed out one attendance sheet thing. This was, uh, this is my calendar for the school year. This is the festal study, festal studies for, um, that come in the uh, Perugia Press Planner. And normally they start with the Dormition because the, per the, the planner begins in August. The Dormition's actually tomorrow and I just decided to switch it around so that the first, uh, the church new year is gonna start and we'll just go from there. So I put Dormition at the end. This is the month. Um, I didn't use the, so this technically looked like, um, it was, let me see if I can open this really quick. It was um, the calendar. So there was this page right here, the month, and then there was this other side over here. And I just barely used this side at all. So I just print, what I did was I just printed out the, um, this first side of that and then opened it so the planner or so the month is right here and I really like this a lot better so um it keeps I, it's it makes it able I'm able then to keep my months um together too so the months end on a blank page so I can just take this little chunk out when August is done and stick it in my soon to be archival uh thing so anyway I really love that um, I started with just the first, um, the week that I started using this was this week. So I tried to kind of decorate. I decorated with Tiana for this week in my last one and I decided to do that again. Um, first week of school, um, this is my new, uh, homeschool planner and all I did was I just, um, kind of drew a line in each box so I made additional boxes and so it's kind of messy but it's so much... It almost even looks the same in terms of being messy as the other one, but it just, it's working already so much better. So anyway, I won't go through all of this. Um, I might do some plan with me's in the future, but like I said, I just have September and August in here. Um, and, uh, so yeah, so that's that. So anyway, moving forward. So this is the plan. That was the planner section. Then this, oh, and I have this little, um, Agenda 52 uh, bookmark and I just use my label maker to print out this week right up there. And so now um, I can just flip to that. I have all of my tabs at the top because I just found it easier with this setup to have them on the top because then I could just see them all. So anyway, moving on, this was, you've seen this before if you watched any of my videos, I just, I made this on Canva and I just keep resizing it for different things. So I laminated this, um, Okay, yeah, so I laminated this to make it a divider for my homemaking section for Indeed House's Little Church. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know, church, house, uh, dad, mom, son, um, which is our current family state, and um, so I just really like it. So, uh, homemaking, and then this quote from Mother Teresa on the back, um, wash the plate not because it's dirty nor because you're told to wash it but because you love the person who will use it next and i did this little on uh lemon theme on canva as well and i use that for these um these pages that i put in a uh page protector and this tape i just kind of stuck in different places to tie it together and i used it so i could repunch these page protectors to fit in here and um with a if you don't know with um laminate or these page protectors you can use a wet erase marker people some people will use a dry erase marker i'm not about that life because <laughs> it 
erases even with dry. You don't need wet to. So what I prefer for things like this with keeping track of chores and stuff is a wet erase marker because then it takes a second to dry. You, you'll want to leave it alone for, for a good couple of minutes um, because it does take a second to dry, but uh, it doesn't wash off without water. So then it, you can keep it in your planner and like, it doesn't, it doesn't, you know, whereas if this was dry erase, it would just erase right away and it doesn't. And so it's really nice to be able to keep track of chores and stuff for something like this. So this is my, uh, these are my, you know, planning things. I made this with some sticker. I'm sorry, not planning, chore, homemaking things. Um, this is, I made this, I want to put some quotes and stuff about just homemaking and, and, and whatnot. Um, you've seen this before too. If you've seen my channel, I just keep, or my channel, my, my videos, I just keep resizing it. But I love this little vintage picture of the, you know, little girl asking her mom why they can so much. And it's because zombies are coming. Um, and then this is the International Orthodox Christian Charities, uh, Don't Wait, Prepare Today. It's a little dark, but it's basically just their list of items to have in a preparedness, um, Thing. This I've had before um, from uh, the Organized Mom, a 52-week food storage checklist, which I actually haven't started for this year yet. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start for August. Um, it's for two people, so I always say to double it for four, um, just because there's three of us, and then it always helps to have a little extra. And then an urban homesteading checklist from HomesteadSurvivalSite.com. Um, we don't really live in an urban area, but it's you know. A stockpile list from myfrugalhome.com and then a uh, master pantry list as well. Um, and I think eventually I'd like to add a family catechism section to this this too, so I can plan out our family catechism uh, whatnot, and I'll do a video on that eventually too. Um, okay, so then my scripture. So I made for my when I this was just going to be my faith binder. Um, I had made um, all of these dividers. You'll see another one here at the back. I just made them all different colors, these like nice muted colors, and I had different ones. I had prayer, scripture, uh, saints, uh, the church, theosis, that kind of thing. So I kept this, as, I just kept the scripture one and then uh, the parish life one at the back, you'll see. But I kept this as the scripture, and or I kept the scripture one here because that's what this section is for. Um, it's just scripture. I've got a prayer for before reading the scripture, some quotes about reading scripture from saints and from our metropolitan, an icon of Christ, that same one from the front. Um, and then I made this just on Word, um, an Orthodox Study Bible reading list. So I, I put all of the chapters from the Orthodox Study Bible, from all the chapters and all the books, um, so that I can uh, mark them off. I, I've done that in my actual Orthodox Study Bible where I've already marked off chapters I've read. Um, and I have read the entire Bible in the past, but I've never read the Orthodox Study Bible, which has additional books in it. Um, not really additional. They're, they're, they're just more books than what's in the Protestant uh, Bible um, that are technically removed from the Protestant Bible. Um, so technically, uh, anyway... Um, that's, that's not what this video is about though. But anyway, so I've got this little check mark off so I can check mark those. I started with Thessalonians in here, first Thessalonians, and now I'm reading Romans. So it's just kind of, it's not, there's no rhyme or reason to it. It's just what I'm reading at the time as I read chapter through ch chapter by chapter. So I made these pages, um, originally for just what I was reading chapter by chapter. So I made these on Word as well, and it was for each chapter I would do, there's this section on scripture notes, just notes about the actual chapter that I was reading, and then this section was to mark down Christ-like character, Christian life, and good works, whether from the actual text or from the Orthodox Study Bible notes in the footnotes. So um, scripture notes, Christ-like character, Christian life, and good works, and then on the back, it was sin, sin, worldliness, and evil works here. Also warnings and things like that. And then personal application right here. So I did this through all of Thessalonians and the first chapter of Romans. Um, so it was back and front for one chapter. And what I decided to do was because I, wa I also wanted to make sure I was getting in the church's assigned daily readings for that day. So what I did was I went to Canva 
and I redid these. So now what I have is I've got a little box at the top. Let me find a blank one so it's easier to see. Um, okay, so I've got the daily readings at the top. So each side is a day. So the front and back are the same, front and back. And that way I can kind of do more but not have as many pages. So daily, and I don't have to have a separate place for daily readings and then a separate place for my chapter by chapter. So my daily readings, uh, I've got the epistle and the gospel. During Lent, I also made a special one for Lent, which has three boxes um, because there's three daily uh, Old Testament readings during Lent, um, during the weekdays. So I made one for Lent as well. But for right now, it's just the epistle and the gospel. And then you can see I just take little notes. Like it's not as detailed as the other, as the chapter by chapter, but I just little, little, uh, little notes to kind of get me through the day about what the focus was so I can kind of, you know, or if there's a, you know, if they go together, if they play off of each other, which oftentimes there's something in common between the two, the epistle and the gospel for the day. So, you know, I can just keep note of that there. And then for the my chapter by chapter, I made a little line over here to write the book and the chapter. So you can see I put Romans 4, you know, there. Um, and then, and of course you get the idea too. I put the you know, and I do, if I didn't write any notes, like yesterday I read these, but I didn't really take any notes. I didn't, they, I don't know. They just didn't, there wasn't anything, I guess, that I felt to take notes on specifically in those particular readings. So I just did a little check mark to show that I did read them. I just didn't take notes. Um, anyway, so chapter by chapter, I took these four boxes from my first ones that I did and I just made them a lot smaller. Um, scripture notes, Christian living, character and works, sin, worldliness and evil works, personal application. So it's a lot smaller, um, but you can kind of see the difference. Like I had more room to write things over here, but I still was writing outside of the box. So it just, it works just fine. Um, and this, this was just a little journal entry thing that I did about this. And so I wanted to add it in here with washi tape, but I mean, I could very easily add, you know, a little tip in or something if I ever wanted to write more. So, so that is my scripture section. <clears throat> okay. Then I move on to my woman of God section. Now in my original, when I just had, this is my faith binder, uh, my Orthodox faith binder, I had a theos, a theosis section, which is basically more or less becoming more like Christ, um, which is the goal of our Christian life, um, is theosis becoming Christ-like. Um, woman of God was a separate section and I had different, um, where are my little, right here. So like I had, uh, I don't know where my woman of God one is, but like, so this was my theosis one and this kind of, uh, anyway, so I, and then I had a pink one that was woman of God. And so it said woman of God down here. Well, what I decided to do was just combine that. And I kept the woman of God tab, um, and then this was, I, these were two happy planner dividers um, that I just saved because I love this image of have courage and be kind. And I just love the, I just love it. Um, it's just so feminine and vintage looking and pretty. So I glued these together and laminated them and made a new divider uh, out of this. And I just kind of combined the concept of becoming more Christ-like with also being a woman of God. So if that makes sense. So this is now my just personal growth, spiritual growth, um, you know, as well as uh, being a godly woman section, if that makes sense. So it's a lot of little things. I've got, you've seen this before, if you watch in my videos, the beautiful Orthodox woman, an icon of the Theotokos and Christ's first steps. I love this icon. It's this was an icon I also uh, first saw when I was just getting into orthodoxy, even before. Th this was just, my son was so little. He wasn't even walking when I first found this. And I just, it's just really cool to think back to the journey we've been on. But anyway, um, St. Porphyrios' tips on the upbringing of children, um, that kind of thing. Uh, this, just something I have in here, um, for a good reminder, I, I have space to write some special Bible verses if I like them. And this one has come up several times for me um, over the last couple of years. And it's, uh, I notice it every time we read it in service. And, um, which isn't often, but when it's been read, I, I just love it. It's from the Wisdom of Solomon, which is one of the additional uh, books uh, in the Bible. 
Um, that's not in typical Protestant Bibles. And it's for the fascination of wickedness doth obscure things that are honest. And I love that verse because it's a good reminder. You know, maybe if I'm going through a phase where maybe I want to, I don't know, maybe I'm wanting to watch, maybe I'm watching too much news or I'm watching too many true crime documentaries or whatever. And it's just heavy, negative stuff. And it can be fascinating, but it's, it does obscure things still and I just you know it can it can it can just obscure truth and it's I don't know it's just a good reminder when I am drawn towards worldly things um, that the fascination of wickedness and, and worldly things it does obscure on the truth so anyway a good reminder for that um, I finally just laminated this bookmark and I hole punched to fit in here it's an anti the Antiochian women's spiritual aids so you know just personal needs clips for, or, um, quick Bible verse references, you know, if you're feeling tired, afraid, anxious, bereaved, in pain, etc. Um, so there's that. This is a prayer for married couples that came out of my previous spiritual binder, uh, prayer to your, um, patron saint minus Saint Anna. Uh, a little quote that I took out of my old one and just stuck in here. The fact that I, it's from Elizabeth Elliot, who I love Elizabeth Elliot. She is a Protestant woman was a Protestant woman, God rest her soul, who was, um, she was married to Jim Elliot, who, if you're familiar with the story, uh, they made a movie out of it called The End of the Spear, um, and I believe it, there's a book too, and I can't think of what, it, the, the book has a different name, I can't think of what it's called, but it's a fantastic, it's such a beautiful story, and I'll just give you a very quick, um, so Elizabeth Elliot was married to Jim Elliot, I want to say back in the 50s, um, it might have even been earlier than that, but I want to say it was the 50s. Um, they went to South America, um, and uh, they wanted, these, got, these male missionaries went to South America. They wanted to bring the gospel to a tribe of indigenous people down there, and um, they were killed by the tribe. Um, pretty much upon arrival, they were, they were killed. And um, Elizabeth Elliot, her husband was, like I said, Jim Elliot, and he died, so she was a widow. And she, um, she later, she took her, oh, I'm trying to remember. She went with her son, or either, either she went with her son, or just her son went back when he was older. I, I don't remember the specific details. Um, but it's a beautiful story of redemption. So the son ends up, um, you know what? She was there with them too. They lived with the same tribe that killed her husband and the son, they brought the gospel message, you know, um, they, you know, uh, to the tribe there, to the indigenous tribe in South America. And, uh, just a beautiful story. And they knew the man that either killed, that either killed their dad or, it was his, the son of the man who, I know, I think it was the man that killed their dad. And it was just such a beautiful story of redemption and forgiveness because they become friends. And it's just a beautiful, it's a true story. It's just absolutely beautiful. And I love Elizabeth Elliot. She's such a, such a great example of being a devout feminine Christian woman. Uh, a strong, a strong feminine Christian woman too. I love, I know, I just think she's fantastic. So anyway, long story. Um, the fact that I'm a woman doesn't make me a different kind of Christian, but the fact that I'm a Christian does make me a different kind of woman. And I just love that. Anyway, I, I'll go fast. These are just some things from, um, this is from Father Stephen Freeman, a, a blog post he did on how we should live. These are the um, 55 maxims of Father Thomas Hopko of Blessed Memory. Um... My monthly confessions, I one of my goals is to go to confession every month. So I had made this um, starting in July and just check mark off when I go to confession. Um, and just some quotes about confession. Uh, practical ways uh, to begin seeking the kingdom in everyday life from Hannah Vasquez. She is a podcast um, for Orthodox Christian women, how to be a lovely lady, um, how to cultivate the desire to be a better Orthodox Christian mother. Anyway, so it's just a little spiritual growth section. And then this is just a little uh, folder, pocket folder. Here's my patron saint, St. Anna. And um, uh, I've got just some little odds and ends in here. 
Um, Got to have my little Mario princesses. Although I'm missing Daisy. I don't know where Daisy is. And so I have to, <laughs> I'm almost tempted to just get my son another one of these coloring books so I can get these little pop outs because I want Daisy now. Um, fun fact, all, all of our pets actually have Nintendo names. Our dog is Zelda. And then we have two chickens named Peach and Daisy. And then we've got um, a fish. Our previous fish before he passed away was uh, Luigi. And our current fish is Rainbow Road. <laughs> so we have all Nintendo named pets and we have no plans to stop that tradition. <laughs> all right. So then this section is, um, oh, and also this, I had this in my uh, previous um, one as well when I was first learning about orthodoxy and these are the six psalms that are read in orthros and I had written them down to remember and I just it's kind of a special thing to me to still have it so anyway um so this is uh parish life so this is basically stuff about our church and just our local church and um so I've got the Antiochian women prayer the great feasts um, a little Antiochian women brochure ways I'm serving in the church uh for this calendar year um, some note pages and then some Agenda 52 devotional sermon note pages and such um, that I just keep in here for uh, taking notes on the homilies and such. So I've got that. And then back here is my journal. I got these journals um, like a year ago uh, from TJ Maxx or Home Goods, and I just love them. They look so, you know. I just love the red ink on the page. They're made in Italy. Although, keep in mind that just because it says it's made in Italy, a lot of times it's still made by sweatshop workers and such. Um, they just have the people who get paid very little come, who, you know, are the, um, oh, what's it called? The, uh, oh, why can't I think of the word? when they're immigrants. So the immigrants that come and they still get paid very little, but the factory just happens to be in Italy. So they, can, and it's the same with the USA. A lot of stuff in the USA is made by factory workers um, who are immigrants and don't always get paid well for the amount of work they do. And just so that they can get that made in Italy stamp on there, because they're not lying. It was made in Italy. It's just not necessarily made by Italians. Uh, just like a lot of things in the US are made in the USA. They're just not necessarily made made in America. Sorry, my son's knocking on the door. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What? I'm hungry. Okay, hold on. Go get a snack for yourself. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Um, sorry. <laughs> He's got a snack drawer and yet it's always mom that's got to get him a snack. Anyway, so this is my journal. I wanted something that I could keep my, I got these for, um, to write poetry in and I just ended up not using them. And, um, cause don't they just have that poetry aesthetic? Like, you know, the, I, I love writing on this paper too. It's great. Anyway, um, I got them for poetry. I didn't really use them that much. And so they were just kind of sitting there and I'm like, I'm going to use them for my journal and I can just stick them right in here and they're not too thick. And I, I write almost every day, but not, but not at the same time. So it's just great that I have it here for those quick days when I want to journal. And then I've just got some additional little podcast notes right there. So, um, I only listen to Ancient Faith podcasts. I don't really listen to other podcasts. My husband, well, no, we just really all only listen to Ancient Faith podcasts. But anyway, um, all of that to say, this was overly long. Um, I think I've been going for about 40 minutes, but uh, this is my planner and it's just everything. It's my, it's my actual day planner and week planner. So it's just work and home life. It's my faith. And it's just really, I, it's easy to take with me everywhere to church, to work. Um, you know, I can do my grocery list I've gotten here. It's shoved back here, but I have a grocery list. And it's exactly what I want because it's just everything is combined in one place. And it's just my whole holistic life in one little, in one, in one space. And so I love it. And uh, yeah, I'm just really excited to, to have it and be using it and it just worked out so well. So thanks for watching this video and I hope you have a great day. Bye.